Hello, everyone. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. <laughs> and I'm sure some of you are going, well, Christmas is over. Christmas was yesterday. For us, it's not because we have still presents under the tree because we're doing the Maya family Christmas tonight. Yep, round three. <laughs> and I've been slicing up a ham just a little while ago. I knocked out a couple of briskets for the Lodens mm -hmm. and uh, my mother-in-law and father-in-law, and they turned out awesome, but the brisket saga continues because <laughs> I, they loved it. They loved it, but I still got to tweak it a little bit. But anyway, I can get, I can go forever on that. But anyway, <laughs> cooked a, did a ham today. Looking forward mm -hmm. to that. It's going to be exciting, but Merry Christmas, everybody. Yes, Merry Christmas. So can you see our tree behind us? And can you see all of our cards that's a, behind us? That's a new tree. We got that last year? We did. We got it last year. Yeah. The one we had before, it was actually a nine-foot tree, mm -hmm. and we got eight-foot ceilings. So we kind of had to bend it down a little bit, but it was a tree that we had for years, and it just, we didn't want to get rid of it because it was so awesome. It but... was sentimental, too, so it was really hard to let go of that tree, but it went to a good home. It was falling apart, <laughs> literally. I don't know why, but we hold on to everything until it basically falls apart. Yeah, we do do that. <laughs> but we love in the new tree, all the lights on it. It goes from like white lights to like all the colorful lights like mm -hmm. you can see. So anyway, check out this cool little card we got, y'all. Isn't that cool? I love that. It's a classic. That, that was a Christmas card in it turns into that yeah it, it came in flat and then it, you just make it into this and i just yeah. love that so we got so many christmas cards yeah Look behind us it goes way up here but you can't see that and then on the back side back there it's the same thing because as y'all know we do the Christmas card exchange. Right. Which is so much fun. It is. But it is a lot of work, y'all. Yeah, and we didn't order enough cards this year. No. So I have mailed out round one of cards. I have more cards that will go out this week. Yeah, I know it's after Christmas, but I did, was not anticipating as many cards as we got. So thank you to everyone thank who sent us much. cards. It's greatly appreciated. We love opening these cards, reading the messages from everyone. Every single one we open, every single one we read. Yep. We pick aside our favorites. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Can everybody hear us okay? Y'all give me a big thumbs up. Make sure all the audio and everything is good. Merry Christmas, Valerie from the OGs. Merry Christmas. Can y'all hear us okay? David, what's up, buddy? I'm ready to fly some drones with you, man. Quartzite. Oh, yeah, David said he got a new drone. I know. That's my drone buddy. We're going to do some serious drone footage. Everybody can hear me? Thumbs up. I'm nice and clear. Lots of thumbs up. Yes. Not too loud. Not clipping. All right. Good to go. Well, we sure hope all of you guys have had a very, very Merry Christmas. We sure have. Um, as y'all know, it is crazy going to all the different places and eating all the delicious food. We're all kind of fattening up right now, but. <laughs> We're going it's, on a serious diet come January, yeah. but both of us, because we've just, you know, it's like, but it's Christmas. You have to eat everything that, you know, all the delicious food that's being cooked and all the desserts. And our house <laughs> smells like brownies right now because I'm, I made brownies to take to his mom's house. So, yeah, it's. I've tried to do the <laughs> low carb thing, but it's just like, you know what? I give up during the holidays. I'm just going to enjoy it. All the good food until the first of the year and then we're going to hit it. But anyway, um, aside from that, it's been a wonderful Christmas. It's been hectic. We got a little bit more to go tonight. As y'all heard, we're going to my family's Christmas over at my brother's house, and we're going to do our present exchange, mm -hmm. and um, I did a ham. We're going to have a whole bunch of other fixings to go along with it. I got to make my mac and cheese, but I make that right before dinner, so it's, it's nice and fresh. Actually, brownies cooking in the oven right now. I wish you could smell it in here because it's... <laughs> It smells like chocolate fudge brownies. Thank you, Justin, for the super chat. Appreciate that. Merry Christmas to you, my friend. Oh, you just got off Mardi Gras. Very oh. cool. And hold on a second. And Emily, thank you for thank that you, super Emily. chat too. Ah, okay. Sorry, lives. It is what it is. <laughs> so yeah, this um, the only what's, thing what's going on about here? this Christmas. What, what happened here? Oh. Hit cancel. Uh-oh. 
Oh, no. Just, oh there, there we, we go. go. Uh, the only thing that was a little bit bummer about this Christmas, well, a lot bummer, is that we didn't get to see Ethan. He's yeah. on a ship right now. We miss him and Hennessy's a bunch. and That's a big, fat bummer. It is. We're going to go see them in California in March. Super excited about that. Hey, Christopher. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. Merry Christmas to you, my friend. Yep. Got your email. We're going to get you hooked up on Mardi Gras. Sure are. <laughs> Merry Christmas from Sweden. How awesome is that? Ho, ho, ho. That's a long ways away from where we are. I know. That's so cool that you're tuning in with us. We love that. So, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, Ethan can't be here. You know, he's working and he's doing his thing. He is deployed abroad, but we will be getting him back in March. In March. And we are going to be in California the day he gets home so we can give him big mommy daddy hugs. We won't be getting him back, but his wife Hennessy's will be getting him back, but we will be there right after. shortly. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're going to be annoying. <laughs> Merry Christmas from Canada. I love seeing where all you guys are from. Okay, so tell us where you're from. If you're from the United States, tell us what state you're from. If you're from outside the United States, what country are you from? I love and seeing Lisa that. And Elisa can read that because I cannot from here, even with my glasses, because I'm Ooh, blind. From Sonora, Mexico, Felicia. Feliz Navidad. Hello. Daytona Beach, Utah, Seattle, Texas, Texas, Tejas. Atlanta, Georgia, Hello, Ohio, Texas. San Antonio, San North Antonio. Carolina, United Kingdom. Kingdom. Oh, God, they're going so fast. I can't even read them all. <laughs> Spokane, Oklahoma. Washington, Ohio, Jersey. Hello. We love, we fell in love with Cape May, New oh, Jersey, man. by the way. Yep. Awesome place. So much so I got the hat. Yep. Arizona. We're heading to Arizona very soon. California. Thunder Bay, Ontario. Hey, Karen. New Virginia. York, Virginia, Ohio, California, wow, Georgia. Guys are from I all love over it. The place. I love it. <laughs> all over the place. Germany. I saw Germany in there. Very cool. Ooh. Canada, Tennessee, Michigan. And you know what's really cool about getting these Christmas cards too is they every all fifty states are represented in these cards. We've got a lot from Canada. We've got some from the UK and some from Australia. So it's really cool getting cards from everywhere. And I just, I, like I said, I love reading your messages. It's so cool. Yeah, you, you lose uh, the, you lose feeling in your fingers. All the oil comes comes out from opening all the, the paper. It's like your <laughs> fingers get very dry. You have that to find yourself <laughs> adding a little moisturizer in there, you guys. It's craziness. I liked it when you went to Blackberry Smoke. One Horse Town is a favorite Omaha here. Very cool. Yeah. One of my favorite bands, just straightforward rock and roll. They're li they're so good live. Really enjoy them. We're in need for another concert. We're going to have to do one soon. Oh, Richard, you're going to be in Quartzsite? So will we. Cool. See you there. And we'll see you there. Any other RVers going to Quartzsite in, in January? So for those of you who don't know what that is, and this will be our first time ever, Quartzsite, Arizona in January is a big RV thing. I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not sure if you call it a convention or a show or a meetup, but thousands or not hundreds of thousands of RVers from all over the U.S. merge in Quartzsite, Arizona for 10 days. It's in the desert. Yep. It's just flat, but it's, the scenery is beautiful. Some of the most beautiful sunsets you'll ever see. Uh, and then we're looking forward to seeing our friends that, that they're going to be there. And then the RV super show, looking at all the new RVs mm -hmm. and just immersing ourselves in that. Very much looking forward to that. Yeah. I saw a couple questions about Hawaii. So the, pr uh, as far as we know, Hawaii is still on. Um, the Pride of America should be starting to sail again pretty soon. Um, so as everything I've heard from Norwegian, we are good to go in Hawaii for June. And we just cannot wait for that because it's our first time in Hawaii. We're bringing the kids with us. Um, our 25th wedding anniversary. So excited for that trip. Nervous and excited. Hope it all goes well. But if it doesn't, it's it can Hawaii. go bad in Hawaii. That's fine. <laughs> exactly. We... There's worse places things could go wrong. That's right. <laughs> Well, we sure hope all you guys... What's Karen saying there? She said she always watched uh, Traveling Robert in Courtside. He's not going this year. I actually reached out to him to see if he was going because I had a question about RVing, and he's really helpful in that because we met him in, um, in, Tampa. in Tampa last year. But he's not going to be there this year, but we will. 
Yeah, we were walking past each other, and he stopped, and he was like, "ECC travels," and we were like, "Travel, Charlie Robert. Robert, hi." So that was kind of <laughs> neat. And then another one was uh, Matt. Oh yeah, Matt's RV reviews. We saw them, and then yeah. Endless RVing. We saw several at the Tampa RV Show last year. Yeah, that was pretty neat. Yep. I was surprised when Matt was like, "Hey, ECC travels." I'm like, "How did I didn't know he knew who we were, but we knew who he was because he's so big in the RV mm-hmm. industry." Um, Oh yeah, there's a big gym show in Quartzsite. That's part of what's going on there too. So yeah, we're we're excited to try new things. Yeah, um, yep. We've we had a wonderful trip in the RV. We're gonna get to some cruising here, so stay tuned. Oh yeah, we got some good uh, news coming up. But we we as you know closed out our trip uh, in the RV up the East Coast and back, and we had a wonderful time. We saw a lot of things. We got all our stickers. We did. We ate the, the lobster in Maine and got a crawfish tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was supposed to be a lobster. Yeah, that's Ended okay. up being a crawfish. <laughs> I was going to get the pinchers enlarged a little bit, you know, but uh, all my friends were like, nah, you're a crawfish guy. Just leave it alone. I think I am. Just going to leave it alone. But it was an awesome trip. Saw a lot of the country we'd never seen before. Mm-hmm. Um, and driving, there's there's nothing like driving across the country. You mm-hmm. really see it well like that. And But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the videos. We're going to be doing it again. We're going to be taking off in January and heading out west mm-hmm. um, and rendezvous with Ethan whenever he gets back home. But we're going to make stops along the way. We're going to go a little bit slower this time and probably spend a little bit yep. more time at each place so we can really dive into it a little bit better. Um, yeah. But we got some good news. Um, we are about to start our Odyssey of the Seas vlog series starting Tuesday. Mm-hmm. So we're back on a cruise ship, you guys. So all of you cruisers that have been with us since the beginning and are kind of getting bored of the RV stuff, sorry about that. We love the RV stuff. That's not going to go away, but we love the cruise stuff too. And it's here again. Yes. So our channel is going to bounce back and forth (laughs) between cruising and RVing. Sometimes we're going to drive the RV to a cruise port, which is what we're doing in March. But um, we love both. And we're EEC travels. EECC travels, not EECC cruises. So we're going to do a little bit So we apologize for some of you that are like, don't care about the RV stuff or the RV people that don't care about the cruise stuff. Can't we all just get along? Look, we love traveling and we're going to do both. So we hope to have all of you come together with Mm -hmm. us on all our travels. Just come along with us on our adventures and uh, let's be crazy together. Well, what's cool about the RV stuff is it's not just about being in an RV. We're going to some really cool places and doing some really cool things. Yeah. And, you know, exploring parts of the United States that we've just never seen before. We're loving it. Learning stuff, you know, learning, tasting new foods, you know, learning and seeing new scenery. Yeah. And it's just really interesting and, and fun to do. And we want you to come along with us, obviously. But uh, anyway... All we right. got to get to we got some, some mail, gift guys. opening because we got to get to my family's house before too long. <laughs> so we love getting these things from you guys. We got the cards and a few of you sent us packages as well. So I'm going to let you open the first one. Okay. I got my trusty knife. Whoosh. All right. All right, the Myatt family. Who's this from, I wonder? Let's see. De Young. De that Young. is from Marilyn and John. All right. Lexington, Kentucky. So we have to go back to Kentucky. We were running short on time and had to skip Kentucky and Mississippi on this last trip. But we're going to go back and do Kentucky right. Love to see the R videos as it shows some great states we've managed to travel. Ah! I lost you. Lost the rest of that. It's hard to read it. I know. Sometimes they go so fast. Yes, it's Marilyn from Maryland, Ashley. (laughs) Okay, there's a bunch of stuff in this box, you guys. Look at here. So I'm going to let you take it from here, honey. To the Myatt family from the DeYoung family. Oh, look at the grandbabies. Let's see. And yes, Merry Christmas to you. Love, John and Marilyn. Thank you, John and Marilyn. John, I miss you, buddy. We need to 
We need to get back together again and smoke some more cigars. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I love. I haven't had caramel popcorn in forever. Here's that one, this one, and then there's one here. Uh oh. We got some sand oh. from Maryland. Oh, from OC Maryland, o Ocean City, Ocean Maryland. Ocean City, Maryland. We got cool. some sand. Thank did you not you. get sand there? I don't think I did. Ooh. Oh, I don't think you did. I and didn't. They Thank got us you, the Maryland. sand for us. Thank you for that, guys. That's mm. really cool. She actually does collect that stuff. Thank you for the caramel mm. corn. That's good. That's delicious. That's really good. Mm. Yeah. How about that? Sand. <laughs> That's for you. Ah, uh, John. Brother, thank you, man. Look at look at who it is. Don't come say hi. I to, no, I <laughs> <laughs> Colby's at work. He's going to be coming I home soon. I can add these to my collection, John. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that. I'll, I'll probably smoke one of these tonight. Saltwater taffy candy. Oh. All right. I got too many crowns and caps. I can't candy. eat that. Candy's mine. Tap is the worst for crowns. It is. I can't it's tell actually you how many chocolate. I pulled off my mouth. It says saltwater taffy, and then it says chocolate, and there's, these are actually chocolates. Yum. Thank you. Ocean City, Maryland was such a cool place. One it of was. The, probably one of my favorite, one of the top five favorites up the East Coast. Just a really cool um, beach town. Drum roll, please. Brrr, the Krabby Crafter. Ooh, he's got a, got a oh, business card. Look. Oh wow, man. That is awesome. It's like a little bronzed crab shell yeah, with is. a with the Florida Lee painted on it to represent our, our New Saints. Orleans Saints. Hey, let's go put that on the tree. Go real put quick. that on the tree. Thank you guys so much. That is awesome. I was thinking the Saints play tonight, but I look at it again, they play tomorrow night. So we will definitely, and look, that, that is going front and center on our tree. Thank you very much. Aha. Boom. There it is. On the tree. Thank you for that. Now, this is from Pam Miller, and she told me what it was and what's coming. And Pam, I can't tell you how hard it has been not to open this box already. Pam before she retired, was a professional candy maker. Ooh. Yeah. Well, we're off to a good start. Yeah. And so, we have, oh my gosh. My lord, there's a lot of candy in peppermint there. Peppermint bark. Ooh, my goodness. Should I hope it arrives safely? Yes, it did, Pam. Thank you. Oh, I wish you guys. Cups. Mm. Get you a bite. Come on, get you some. Look at this. Coffee. Peppermint bark. And it smells like peppermint, y'all. Cardamom spiced cashews. Oh my God. Mm. Oh my God. That is crazy good. And a big old slab of fudge with walnuts. Pam, thank you so much for this. Holy cow, Pam, that is killer. That is killer. It is. You have no idea. I've been wanting to tear into this box since it peanut, since I picked it up. <laughs> homemade peanut butter cups, y'all. Look. Mm -mm. Holy cow. It's an inch thick, if not bigger. Look at that. And this is why we don't diet during Christmas. <laughs> That's insane. Mm. Get a good bite with the peanut butter. Oh my lord. Oh my god. Well, there goes the diet again. Yep, that's why I don't even try. <laughs> I will be going into a diabetic coma later tonight. I like you. Chocolate candy and cigars. It really doesn't get much better than that, in my opinion. No, it doesn't. All right, is this. Do you want me to open this? Yes. All right. Michelle says, hit that like button. Thank you very much. 
Oh, yes, Mike, the candy is very good. Oh. Yeah, Christmas calories don't count, Hope. I totally agree with that. They don't. <laughs> I keep trying to tell myself that. First Sergeant Richard, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, he Thank just, you for he your... sent us some gas money for the RV. We appreciate that. Oh, good, because I need it. <laughs> yeah, gas prices have gone up crazy. <laughs> Christmas is about broke me. <laughs> My family. Nice little I card here. And once again, guys, look at this. Lots of beautiful stuff that we're going to open and out of here. This is from Jim and Lucinda Williams and family. Thank you guys very much. Oh no. You know, I, I, got, I must admit, I find favor with people that send me beer and cigars. <laughs> I'm just going to say, you make it to the top of the list if you can send me beer and cigars. Wow. Okay, so this Oregon, is Oregon, Oregon grinder. grinder. It's an amber ale. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's uh, Mankato, Mankato. How do you say that brewery? Mankato yeah. Brewery from Mankato. Minnesota. Mm. I think that's yeah, that's Minnesota. Minnesota. Amber ale. Mm. And a cute little Christmas ornament. I will be putting these in the refrigerator. Thank you very much for that, sir. And let's see what's in here. <gasps> bonbons. Lindor oh, chocolate gosh. bonbons. Oh yum. Oh oh oh. And. Christmas time is here in a little camper. Thank you so much. I love that. You have to put that in Ellie. I have to put that. Yes. This That's is going go in Ellie. Ellie. This is definitely going or in Ellie. Or on the travel tree. <laughs> mm, thank you so much for the candy. Love candy. Cool. You want another bite of this? It's crazy good. Come on, one more for the camera. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Eric. Merry Christmas to you, sir. Wow, thank you very, very much. Appreciate that. Hope you had a wonderful Christmas. Okay. Oh, this is. Heavy. You need me to? Do you need me to? Okay. Activate the muscles for you, honey. Sir Robert Robertson, it is time for your package. This box has been a year in the making. I'll take care of this one, honey. Watch out. We have emailed back and forth several times for the customization of this gift. I hope I'm not cutting into anything important. I need to sharpen my knife, that's for sure. <laughs> I got you a knife sharpener for Christmas. Oh no, I gotta use it. crackers <laughs> that is awesome and there it says there's nine prizes for christmas crackers christmas crackers what the heck is a christmas cracker it's a british thing i don't know what that is <laughs> anybody know what a christmas cracker is Someone explain to Jason what Christmas crackers are. Sir Robert Robertson, Pierre Noel Robertson, thank you so much for But thank this. you very much. Really don't care what it is. I appreciate it anyway. Oh, look at these adorable ornaments. They're little... We have a, a Santa. A snowman. Another little Santa. And he makes these. These are all handmade ornaments. Yeah, we don't, we don't buy ornaments anymore. We get so many of them from you guys giving them to us and our trees are just basically of the ones you give us. So we appreciate those. We we put them on our tree. Instructions for the Christmas crackers. All right. <laughs> My man. You know what? We will take these to his, uh, to the Myatt family Christmas tonight and do the Christmas crackers. Right, is this some kind of joke, Robert? This is a piece of PVC pipe. I don't know what he's, what he's getting to here, but it may belong to something else. I think it's all part of the crackers. Okay. There's there's bits and pieces that we have to. So put I gotta put this thing together. Yes, we have to put the Christmas crackers together. Oh my. Oh goodness. my gosh! Look, reading glasses for Jason. I know, right? Thank you, Robert. <laughs> I'm probably gonna need these. 
Look at this beautiful Santa Claus. Fragile handle of care. Oh, I love him. That is beautiful. I'm gonna put my reading glasses You're on. You're gonna put your reading glasses on? Oh, look. They're real reading glasses. Yeah. I thought they were not gonna be real reading glasses. Oh, look at that. Hmm. Okay. Dave says, Cracker has tabs on either end oh. and you pull them. Are they strong? <laughs> Wowzers. Well, I can read good, that's what for sure. What does this say? Well, it says a bunch of things. Reminder, games. Well, I can read that fine. <laughs> Thank you. I can't see you guys from here, but I can read up close. Wow. It's actually better than these. Thank you. Jingle bells. Oh, you got me two pair. So these are doorbells. So you put them around your door handle, and every time someone opens the door, Do they look good? It goes see. on there. Do they look? they look good? Yes, they look good. Okay. I mean, thank you. God, they look good. The box just keeps going. I'm just enamored with my reading glasses. Giant candy canes. Golly, the world's largest candy cane. There are three of these in here. Holy smokes. I'm opening that. <laughs> Do you want to open it? Not right now. <laughs> are we going to save it for like next year? Okay, but this. Look I at the size of that thing. I saved this. Well, super glue it. I got some Gorilla Glue for that. Okay. That happens sometimes. So, what this the is the coup de gras of the presents. These are handmade mermaid ornaments that represent each of the family. So, we've got Cameron, Colby, and Ethan. Hmm. This is definitely me. The gray haired stud. Me and Jason. Give me a kiss, honey. <laughs> oh, my head. You're going to knock my head off. I'm sorry. And Zoe. That is so cool. I like how he made us boat up. <laughs> he made Thank Zoe you. too. That okay. Is, that is so cool. And this is Hennessy's. So, wow, that is really, really thoughtful. So we've and got nice. Ethan and Hennessy's. Even our dog Zoe. I just love this. This is so cool. Very creative and very personal and original. Very original. Thank you really so much. Really love that. For these. Thank you so, so much for that. They're amazing. I can't stress it enough. That is super cool. Sir Robert, are you on here? Sir Robert, if you are not on here, thank you very much if you are. Yes, thank, we thank you, you, so, you so, much. so much. This is awesome. Hi, Krista and Robert. Merry Christmas. Hope you feel better soon, hon. And we're going to play Christmas Crackers tonight. Okay. All right, next up on the list. Got a little one here. This is from Andrew, Andrew and Jen McAdams. And there is a reindeer ornament in here. Love that. It says, wishing you a Merry Christmas. And I am hanging that on the tree because I love these ornaments. Awesome. Okay. Okay, it's a card of some sort. It's from, it says Love Pop here. So Pop. let's... Warm Love wishes. Pop. Warm wishes. Oh, cool. Turn it around. <laughs> Surf's up. Santa's surfing. What a cool card. That's we love about these cards. So many of you guys are so creative in sending these cards. Mm -hmm. They're really cool. And then there's more right oh, here. Oh, that's who it's from. This is who it's from. So Love Pop is the company that this card came from. Elisa and Jason, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from our family to you. Sharami? Sharami? S-H-A-R-A-M-I-E. Ryan and Lucky. I hope I'm not saying your name wrong, but thank you guys thank very, you. very much. We really appreciate that. Love the card. That's awesome. And the little personal card that goes in it. Santa surfing. Super cool. <laughs> Love that. Merry Christmas 
Back at you. Okay, hey, this is from Virginia Steinman. I'm gonna read your personal note off camera. Yeah. Oh, look. You see how it does? So it's a snow globe. That is so neat. And they got a nice little handwritten message. Um, Have a very Merry Christmas, Virginia back. Steinman. So you take this card and you do it like that and it stands up like a snow globe. Those are the coolest cards, love them. Your turn. Okay. Yeah, this one would be very difficult to Hang up there. So let us know what you got for Christmas and what your favorite Christmas item was. Jason's gonna show you something that he got for Christmas that he thinks is really, really cool. I love it. We got a bunch of nice stuff from the kids. Got some really cool ear pods that I can run with and have great sound. You got coal. <laughs> Did you really? <laughs> oh, a cry cut. Those are cool. Who is this from? Mike and Dee Dee Brinkman from Minnesota. Mississippi. Mississippi. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Told you I need glasses. <laughs> I got glasses, but I need better ones, I think. Oh, a soda stream. That's cool. A so, picture of your dog on a pillow. Oh, that's sweet. So it looks like I got some spice blends How here. How did I know that box was for Jason? Hey, from New Zealand. Hello. Merry Christmas. Uncle Pookie Barbecue. Uncle uh, Season blend. Uh, honey jalapeno and steak and burger love. Very cool. Always love to try different season blends from all over. So... It's one of my favorite gifts to get, other than beer and cigars. I would say this is a, a close third. But thank you very much. I will absolutely put these to use and try them on some different things. So thank you for that, guys. Appreciate that. That goes on my stack. This side of the table. And what is what is that gift that you got that you were going to show them? Oh. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> this is my new favorite toy. Mm -hmm. All right, let's cut it on. All right, we're going to go from zero to 30 in seconds flat. Oh, yeah. Can you hear it purr? <laughs> you hear that? Like a kitten. This is a massager. It's a massage gun. Here, hit my back. This bad boy oh. works like nobody's business. Oh, yeah. Okay, it will make... You feel good in spots you didn't think you could feel good in. I ain't even lying. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so what... Uh, he's... I'm going to end up on the naughty list. You are going to end up on the naughty list. So no, but what's cool about that thing, it's got a whole bunch of different attachments. And there's yeah. one that... It looks like a... It looks like a... Yeah, there's one that looks like a thumb. One and it looks like a fork. Yeah, and it, it'll go like on your arms like this. It's really neat. Different attachments do different things, but there's a whole bunch of them. <laughs> and but this is my favorite. But, but she got that for me because I, I got a bunk shoulder. Yeah. I took a bad spill on the Flow Rider on Oasis of the Seas, and or I'm sorry, Odyssey of the Seas, <laughs> and it hurt my shoulder, which I'm probably gonna have to have surgery. I actually got a follow up appointment. I had an MRI on it. And I'm going tomorrow for a follow-up appointment. So maybe y'all may be seeing me in a sling here before too long, but that's all right. I need to get it fixed and get back to new again. Mm-hmm. Got stuff to do. Yeah, we're hoping things to see. We're hoping if he does have to have surgery, it's a quick uh but for now time. this XT1000 Turbo <laughs> works just fine, y'all. Yeah, it does. And let me tell you, on your feet. <sighs> A great excuse for her to hit me with this thing for a good 30 minutes every night. It's <laughs> worth it. I may embellish it a little bit, but... Hey. Oh, honey, it hurts. Oh, does your shoulder hurt? Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, this is a... Uh, 
He dot. Yeah, that's the brand. H e a d o t. If I recommend it, if you need uh, a massage and you need to do it yourself or get your partner to do it for you, this thing really has some power and gets in there and gets some deep penetration to those muscles. And it's just fun. Oh, yes, Helen, we have the wreath. It's on the front door right now. It is so beautiful. Thank you for sending that last year. We do. You want to open another? I'll open, actually, I opened this one. I want to open this. Because I had to get the full names to send you your Christmas card back. So I haven't looked at it yet, though. Ooh, there's a piece of dark chocolate in there. Okay. More chocolate. Wow. This is from Sharon and Andrew Harder. Ask a noisy chocolate. Ask a noisy. Oh, postcards from Missouri. Hey. Oh, look. There's a sticker that, that says, state. The sticker that says Ozarks. Ozarks. Very cool. I'm actually going to put that on my computer. Yep. There's another one. The Ozarks are calling. And the James sticker. The James. And then... State. State of Missouri. That's super cool. Love stickers, y'all. Thank you. Yeah, he covers his laptop in stickers. And all my laptops that I use for editing, I cover them up with stickers. From all the places we go, I collect stickers. She collects the magnets. And chocolate. More chocolate. So We're going to go into a chocolate comatose. Stickers for Jason. Chocolate for me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Love my chocolate. We are near the end here. This is from Emily. Oh gosh, I'm gonna murder your last name. I apologize we just don't in even advance. Try. We suck at S C H M E L Z. And she sent a Scentsy. I love these things. So we well, can't. Well, you have to open it. You gotta it. open it. You can't smell yeah. it in the plastic, silly. Yeah, you have to open it to smell it. But you take those and you hang them in your closet, and they smell great for and like a few months. She has a sticker on there that says "For Ellie." So. Oh, this one's for Ellie. Okay. This is for Ellie. Not for you. Oh, this is for Ellie. I was gonna put it in my closet, but I guess I'll put it in Ellie. <laughs> All right. Another one for me. Hopefully I won't stab myself. Yes, please don't stab yourself. We don't want you to stab yourself. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, neat. Wow, holy smokes. Got a card. Okay, and this is from Miss Sue Shavers in Graymont, Illinois. And it is a piece of wood here that looks like a pencil. Carved out like a pencil, and it opens up. That is so Smells cool. good. And it's got, like... It's a nativity. It's a nativity with baby <gasps> Jesus. beautiful. Oh, wow. That's really neat. That is the neatest nativity I think I've ever seen. Look at that, you guys. That is beautiful. That Thank right you here. so much. It smells good. Smell of wood. I love that smell. That is awesome. Thank you. Okay, this is the last package we have, and it just says it's from Kohl's. So I'm hoping there is something inside that tells us who it's from. Drum roll, please. A Nod Pod. A weighted blanket for your eyes. Oh my God. Home run, jackpot. That is awesome. You just nailed it. She literally sleeps <laughs> with a towel on her head. She's tried the little goggles and all those little fancy things to block out light, but she just uses a little blue towel. It's from Gina Miller. Thank you, Gina. This, that is awesome. This might actually take the place. This might actually, she might. I will retire my little blue towel for my new blue. It's weighted. Love that. Oh, yeah. That's lovely. Mm -hmm. Okay, you don't have to hit me in the face, though. <laughs> <laughs> that 
That's cool. Let me feel it. You want to feel it? Yeah. Oh, I got to get my beauty sleep. Wow, that's cool. That is very cool. Thank you, Gina. <laughs> Something about the weighted thing. Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah, we love our weighted blankets. We have a weighted yeah. blanket on our bed. We have one in, in Ellie. In the house and the bed in the RV. Yeah. Well, that's it. Is that it? That is it. That's it. That's a wrap for uh, the presents. Thank you guys that sent you that sent cards. Yeah. Thank you guys that sent presents. Thank you guys that did super chats. We greatly appreciate all of it. Um, we've got so much coming up for 2022. If you're if you've been with us forever, thank you so much for hanging around with us. If you're new, stay tuned. We got a lot more fun stuff to come. We've got RV trips. We've got cruises. Um, yep. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And if you've been around for a while, tell two friends about us. Come along with us, crazy kids. So let us know we'll real quick. figure it quick. out together. Yeah, let us know real quick. Are you more ex excited? Blah, 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 blah. Bloopers. Are you more excited for our upcoming RV travels? Are you more excited for upcoming cruises? Or do you not care and you and just you like everything. to go with us wherever we go? Hopefully that's the answer. That's the answer I like the best. But, you know. Okay, I see cruises. Hawaii, here we come. Both. Thank you, Travis. We both. like both. We like both. I watch everything. RV. Oh, it's going so fast. Uh, both are good. I like both. Both. Um, I watch everything. Oh, I love it. RV travels. Cruises, both. Very cool. Any group cruises coming up? Yes, the next one is on Carnival Panorama in March. If anyone is interested in any group cruises, it's um, go to our website, eecctravels.com, and then there's a tab up at the top that says group cruises. Both, RV, but both. Can't wait to meet y'all on the road on the RV. Oh, I love hearing this. I can't wait Yay. to get back on the road in the RV. I know. We're missing Ellie. She's sitting there. I've got her winterized, and she's just sitting there ready to go. But um, we walk out and say hi to her every now and then, empty her um, yeah. dehumidifier because yeah. it's Louisiana. It is 80 degrees here in Louisiana for Christmas. Yeah, we just go out there and sit down and just mm -hmm. talk to her for a little bit. She's got her own distinctive smell. I like she does. it. She still, still has that new, new car smell. She still has that new car smell. New RV smell. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, anyway, yep. So come Tuesday, I'm about to finish up. Uh, the boarding of Odyssey of the Seas, our very first video in that series. We're going to kick that off on Tuesday, so you guys be sure to check out that video and leave a comment. But we are back on a cruise ship. Probably will only be two, three, maybe four videos we'll see. It's not going to be a long series. I'm trying to get caught up. We had so many videos on the East Coast. I think we had 15 videos to put out for the East Coast uh, trip. And it kind of put me behind a little bit. We just got off the Harmony of the Seas. But uh, anyway, I'm about to kick off the Odyssey of the Seas. I'll have that done in probably two weeks. And then, boom, we'll start the Harmony of the Seas. And I should get caught up before we take off in Ellie. Yes. Yeah, so the... And so we'll try to be more current. We're going to try to be more current for you guys. And for us, too, it helps us as well. Because yeah. it's confusing to a lot of people. <laughs> Some people don't realize that there is a delay from travel to the time you sit down and get these videos edited because it takes a lot of work. But we do want to keep it within a week or so. Yeah. So thank you guys for bearing with us on that. And if you're not following us on Facebook and Instagram, follow us over there because that's where we, like, if we're doing something right in the moment, pictures and things go right there on Facebook so you can keep up with what we're doing and what's yeah. coming up on YouTube. By the way, Odyssey of the Seas is... One of my favorite ships. Awesome, yes. awesome entertainment, awesome ship. You guys are going to want to check that ship out. Um, watch those videos because we did some really, really cool stuff mm -hmm. on that ship. And the entertainment was stellar. Oh my God, awesome. yes. You know, they really have stepped their game up with the entertainment. You know, it used to be, oh, cruise entertainment. Well, cruise entertainment now is really good. Like, for instance, they had a band at the, what was the name of that rock club? They had a band. It was made up of a bunch of old, like, rock stars. Mm -hmm. Like the keyboard player, or like the guitar player from Steppenwolf, the keyboard player from Ozzy Osbourne, the drummer from, like, White Lion, all mm -hmm. these 80s bands. These musicians actually played and went on tour with these bands, formed their own bands, and the, 
the, the entertainment was killer. Yeah, I think they were called the Legends of Classic Rock, and then, they were awesome. And then there was like a, a Journey tribute band yep. that sounded as good as Journey back in the day. You know, I mean, the singer didn't sound as good as Steve Perry, but he did a phenomenal job. It was just the best entertainment. I can't wait to show you guys that. Yeah. Unfortunately, f filming live music doesn't always come through because those microphones clip. Uh, and the audio doesn't really translate well, so. Hopefully it comes my... out better. Yeah. yeah. Which did we like better, Odyssey of the Seas or Harmony of the Seas? Mm, there's <sighs> things about Harmony I really liked. I loved the boardwalk and the Central Park area. Yeah. Um, that water show was incredible. We didn't see the ice skating show, but the water show was fantastic. I didn't like, I'm a rock and roll guy. They didn't have really any good n venues for good live rock music. Yeah. Uh, I really missed that. Mm hmm So. Well, we got a little spoiled to that on Odyssey. It was called the Music Hall. Yeah. That venue was called the Music Hall. It so, was like, really if I'm cool. going to go out mm -hmm. after, for instance, we'll have a night or two where we go out and, you know, we drink a little bit, dance, cut a rug, let loose, whatnot. We typically do it after a show. We'll go to the theater, we'll get all jacked up and energized from the show, and then we'll go like listen to some music at the rock club, and mm -hmm. that's just kind of how we always end our night. And uh, really missed that on Harmony. Loved it on the Odyssey. Yeah. So, it depends on your preference, but for my preference, I'm going to probably give it to Odyssey. It's a smaller ship, but size of the ships don't really matter to me. I like them big, I like them small, you know, if I have... I can have fun on any size ship, really. Well, and the funny thing is we call it a smaller ship. It's a big ship. It's a 4,000-passenger yeah. ship, but it's just compared to God, the... Everything's small compared to the, That Oasis the class is crazy big. Yeah. Just crazy big. Yeah, but, you know, it's once you've been on enough cruise ships, they kind of all feel the same after a while. <laughs> you get used to them, but they're both really cool. Both very different, mm -hmm. but also very similar. So you guys are... Check it out on the videos when uh, we post them. It's going to be interesting for you to watch. But yeah. anyway. Okay, guys. Well, we're going to say goodbye and say Merry Christmas one more time. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. We really, really appreciate you guys more than you know. Thank, thank all of you guys. Special shout out to our patrons. We really appreciate you guys and Merry Christmas to you. We hope that y'all all have a wonderful Christmas. And, well, it's over with now. Hope you had a wonderful we, yeah. Christmas. Yeah, we forget. It's not over for us. <laughs> Tonight's the last us. night. Tomorrow, it's over for us. Yep. Yeah. And Happy New Year to everyone. Happy New Year, guys. Yeah. And we'll see you again soon because we have so much coming up for next year. Yep. So, stay tuned. Tuesday, Odyssey of the Seas, guys. Here we come. Finally. I know. I'm ready for this. All right. Merry Christmas. We'll see you soon, guys. Bye. Oh, someone, there's a button on this note. Hold oh. on. Press button. Thank you for saying that. I totally <laughs> missed that. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. The snow's popping oh, in the snow. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Take it, Elisa. No, I don't sing. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>